Moving along in our Samba Active Directory series here, um, we may at some point want to use group policy to push a certificate uh, or a CA uh, to multiple computers so that we don't have to um, you know, visit each computer manually one at a time and manually install the CA and put it where it's supposed to go, uh, such as the trusted, uh, trusted root authority. So um, in this example, the certificate that I actually want um, to uh, push or the, the CA that I want to push is the PFSense CA listed here. Um, and this is actually being used for Squid since we have previously set PFSense up as a proxy server and it is a transparent proxy server and all traffic um, that is coming from certain um, you know, VLANs and domains will actually hit this Squid proxy server and we don't want the users to start receiving you know, this type of thing here or error messages or start losing connections because it's detecting a man in the middle attack. So what we want to do um, is actually push the, the Squid CA via GPO and uh, this is the same setup that I use for um, you know running the Ubuntu Samba AD PFSense we're, we're all on the same network that that is uh, that was done on those previous videos so uh, if you follow me up to this point everything that I do here should also work for you um, so you'll notice that I have in my downloads folder the, uh, the the PFSense certificate and um, it's actually taking a, a minute to load. Um, so here's the um, the certificate that we want. Actually, let me just make sure that that's the right one. Let's do export CA. All right, so squid.crt that should show up in my downloads folder. There it is. Um, so the first thing we want to do is actually get this certificate. We, we want to get it into a network accessible location because if I create a GPO and uh, import the certificate from my C drive, well, that's not accessible to everyone. So it's not going to work. Um, so what we want to do is actually copy this certificate and we want to go to some sort of network storage and in, in this very small test environment I don't really have anything other than the uh, samba.ad.testcompany.com server to throw this on that is you know accessible to you know theoretical you know hundreds of machines um, but uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna throw this on the sysvol of the uh, domain controller and um, just create a new folder. Actually, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to create a new folder. I'm just going to put it in the scripts folder. And in the scripts folder, we'll have our squid.crt file. So now that the certificate is in a network accessible location, we can go ahead and close this and we can open the group policy uh, object tool. All right, so what we're going to want to do is go to group policy objects, and as you can see, this is a you know very basic, clean install. There's really nothing going on uh, in this domain at this point, and I think this is the only Windows 10 computer that is actually even joined to this domain. Uh, but we're going to right-click on that and click New. And we'll just call it anything we want, you know, PFSense CA. That way we kind of know what it is. And then we click on it and we see that it's just a, a very, uh, very, very much blank uh, object at this point. So we'll right click on it, click edit. And we'll go to computer configuration, uh, policies, Windows settings in security settings, public key policies, 
and trusted root certification authorities is what we want to add uh, that, that certificate to. So we'll go into there, right click and click import. Next, and then for the file name, we're actually just gonna type in the full uh, URL to the file, which actually, I wonder if we'll be able to browse. It'd be a lot easier if we could browse. There we go. Sysvol scripts squid. All right. So um, that all looks good. So we'll select squid, click open. And as you can see, the file name here has the, the full path. All right. So I, I, I did it the other way so that I could uh, not have to remember that big long path there. Okay, so that's the path that I have. And the good thing is when I do this, this is also a location that the other computers will be able to see as well. So we'll click next. We'll place all certificates in the following store, trusted root certification authorities, click next and click finished. And click okay. And as you can see, it's listed uh, our CA here in the uh, trusted root certification authority. And that's it as far as, you know, building the actual object. Um, but now we can close this. And uh, if you had your um, uh, groups of computers built out in the users and groups, which I don't because I don't have any uh, groups or really any computers other than just this one, um, you could come in here and, you know, build, build different, uh, you know, groups for different departments or labs or buildings, whatever. And when you create, uh, when you create users and groups in, in the, uh, in this tool, they'll actually show up in your group policy management tool. So, um, I don't really have anywhere to, um, you know, assign this to, but uh, we could just say that all, you know, all uh, computers uh, in the testcompany.com will will get this GPO. Okay, so um, if that is true, and you uh, then go to the workstation and run a GP update, and the PFSense CA is associated. Um, and enabled, then they should receive the, uh, the the squid certificate that we downloaded from from PFSense. Now the CA could be from anywhere. This will work with pretty much you know any any uh, VPN or proxy services out there that say you know you must install our certificate and trust it. Uh, which is fine and it's easy to do on one computer. You can you can just manually do that. You know, just just uh, double click it or install it and add it for either your current user or for the whole computer. That's not a big deal to do it once. Uh, maybe even two or three times would be faster than building a, uh, a a group policy object. But when you run into you know 15, 20, 100, a thousand computers that will all need this certificate and then they'll need an updated one in the future. Uh, this is where you can really save a lot of time and, and quite frankly, you know, if, if you don't have Active Directory and you're not somehow managing that many devices, then there's just simply going to be no way that you can actually, you know, keep up with, uh, you know, pushing these updates out or, or trying to keep everyone updated. So this is definitely the way that you want to go, um, especially if you primarily deal with with Windows computers that are tied into your Active Directory domain. Um, this example that we're doing right now is working with, it just so happens to be a Samba server, but what I just showed you will also work on a Windows server, a, a true you know Windows uh, Active Directory domain. Um, the, the process there is the same and, and that's where um, 
you, you can really start to see the power of group policy and Active Directory come into play is, is with things like that, just being able to push out a, a CA within really just a few minutes, um, you, you can you can build it out and uh, you know hopefully pretty soon after you do that and get everything associated, all of your workstations would would have the uh, the the certificate pushed out to them. All right, so that is pretty much it as far as that goes. Um, there were a lot of uh, people that wanted to to see. Um, you know how you would go about actually pushing that because I, I mentioned it in a video when we were talking about PFSense and uh, Squid and the proxy and everything and this the, the the CA and and I mentioned that you know oh you can just you know push it GPO to hundreds or thousands you know of, of computers if that's what you need to do and a lot of people were like you know well how exactly do you do that <laughs> so that is how you do it and um, thanks for watching <laughs>